because the skin on our feet is very thick it is usually more dry and dehydrated than the skin on the rest of our body and this is because there are no oil glands on the soles of our feet so because of this the heels tend to lose its elasticity due to the lack of moisture and it can worsen from pressure inappropriate footwear or also nutrient deficiency so in this video i'm going to be showing you a very simple formula that is going to help heal and get rid of your dry um, heels overnight okay so the first thing we are going to be needing is uh, aloe vera you can use the aloe vera plant if you know how to get rid of the toxins or you can just get the gel aloe vera has like natural healing and moisturizing properties that softens the feet aloe vera also helps get rid of foot odor because of its deodorizing properties so the second thing you need is a vaseline because vaseline is an occlusive it helps create a sealing barrier locking in the essential moisture your feet need to repair themselves thereby hydrating your feet and preventing them against further dryness and cracking so i measured about two tablespoons of my aloe vera because i wanted to make like little little quantities that i can just use and you know maybe just for a week and then i'll make another one i don't want to make in large quantities at the same time i also measured about two tablespoons of my vaseline as well i am using the vaseline blue seal you can use whatever vaseline you want whatever petroleum jelly you have but i'm making use of the blue seal because that is what i currently have Now once I'm done measuring out, once I was done measuring out the quantities that I needed, I gave this a very good mix, like a very thorough mix. I kept mixing till my, my paste is thicker than the aloe vera gel, but less thicker than the Vaseline. I don't know if you understand that. It's going to be thicker than the aloe vera gel, but it is going to be um, softer or less thicker than the Vaseline. Also, you're going to notice a very slight change in the color. Now, the color is no longer as deep as the Vaseline. So yeah, that is what you're looking for. You want the consistency and the color to be this way. That way, you know it is thoroughly mixed. So once I was done mixing my paste, the next thing I'm going to be doing now is making use of this pedicure file. Now, the essence of making use of this pedicure file is just so to get rid of the dead skin cells, the dry skin cells that is no longer needed, the one you're trying to get rid of, okay? So you want to do this on your dry feet. You do not want to go um, going on wet feet or anything. You don't want your feet to be moist or have any sort of water you want to go in on a dry feet just so you can get every part of it well every part of where you want to scrape just so you can get it very well so endeavor to do this on dry feet okay so you're going to have to keep scrubbing to keep exfoliating to keep filing till you're sure you're satisfied with the results you have then you can stop and then proceed to the next step now note that I already did this a few days ago before I had to repeat it because obviously you're going to have to repeat it for a couple times in a week, say two times or three times in a week, but two times is okay. So I already did this earlier before this very one. So that's why my feet is not really looking all dusty and dusty. So the next step after you're done filing is to go and wash off the dust, go and wash off the skin cells, the dead skin cells that you already filed off. And yeah, the next step is just to apply the paste you made, just to apply the butter or the formula you made. Massage it very well into your skin. Make sure it penetrates into your skin. And yeah. Please note that it is really advisable to do this at night. That way you're going to reduce the pressure on your leg because your feet get to rest at night. Okay, no much walking no much walking around the pressure on your feet is totally reduced 
So it's really, really advisable to try this at night. But once you're done with the massaging, once you're done with the piece, the next thing you're going to have to do, which is very, very necessary, is to cover with a socket. Yes, this is going to enable the moisture to keep, to be locked in and not escape. Understand? This is going to help lock in the moisture, to help seal in the moisture till the next morning. All right? Now, this is one of those things that you get to see the result almost immediately because you're going to start noticing a visible change from the next morning. Okay? But to keep this in for a longer period, to keep your feet soft for a longer period, you're going to have to repeat this for about two times in a week. Two or three times in a week is perfect. And also, avoid walking barefooted on hard floors. Make sure you're on padded footwears. After that, I'm going to cover the rest. I'm going to transfer the rest of the piece into an airtight container. That way, it's going to last me for as long as I want it, maybe a week or so. So that is basically all that for this video. I hope you found this video very helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down there in the comment section. Subscribe to me if you've not subscribed already. Thank you so much, guys, for the love on my previous video. I really, really appreciate. And yeah, it's all the here. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.